Hello everyone, I'm Greglock, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 48 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we just saw that we have some trouble, trouble with our Sephirite. Uh, oh, because they're both going to this. Delightful. I needed some skin before I could do underground builds. I just want to do a proper balancer there. And then we'll put down more of the miners. Tin. And wood. Also, we wanted to do some exoskeletons, some batteries. We need stuff from far away for that, though. Iron gear wheels. Where are the chests? Oh, I went past them already. Well, we can grab some electric engine units and some, well, we are very low on those. What else was it I needed? Batteries. We're probably also out of those, yep. They're all going into robot production, of course. Oh, we need to... Dang it. I shouldn't have been as picky about what I put on the bus and what I didn't. Everything should just have been here. These just like the sulfuric acid that we can make with all of our new sulfur dioxide. Oh, not new anymore, I guess, but... Hmm. Whoops, didn't want those. I need just a few batteries, though. We are making a little bit every now and then, it seems. There's three batteries. Nice. That gives me four. I need one more, at least. Also need more of these.
actually have made too many solar panels if we need a battery in here. And two of these. Maybe I don't need two then. I think that already helped quite a lot. Let's get it anyway. Okay. So we are using more power when we run when we produce, but that's okay. Of course, I'm getting distracted again by the next TS then. I'm not sure we have glass. No, wait, that was just silicon in a furnace, right? We don't have silver then. So never mind that. And I guess the next battery requires advanced stuff. Okay. So what is faster now, me or my plane? I think it's about the same thing actually. <laughs> this just has small inventory then. Ah, the plane is a little bit faster. Oh, well, what were we doing again? I need stuff for a more underground build. I still do. We're not producing wood here yet, right? We only have the trees. Yep. Oh yeah, of course, I can't even just output from here. Err. Okay. We can use filter inserters. To output the saw plates now. Hopefully that will always take the saw blade before this one. So much junk. Okay, that helped a bit. I feel like there was another reason for me to come up here. 
we needed to do this. But by then I got distracted by something else. Oh, I, that was the underground belt, because we wanted to belt to balancing. Okay, makes sense. Is there any researches we need to do so I can distract myself again? Mm. Nope, not available. Let's get rid of this. Also, I never put a flare stack at the sulfur, no, sorry, carbon dioxide. I don't think at least, maybe I did. Yeah, actually I think I did. this so all four belts are going to those two We already used all of the miners, really. Anything else we can get rid of? We can get rid of that at least. I'm not sure what it's doing here, but what it would be. I really would like to actually just fill out this entire field. But that just takes too many miners apparently. Belt. I just run out of everything right now. Production of iron should be saved again. Let's go back for more and then go back to finishing setting this stuff up. Wait. 
I mean, we had just training for these. I just didn't see anything on the belt. Maybe I just looked at the wrong times. Yes, I did. Okay. That's the same. Let's get productivity, I guess. We still haven't put the sand onto the dang belt. Now, our problem is for all of this that a bag up of limestone, for example, can actually cause a bag up on the build of all the resources, or at least half of the one on the same side. Mm. Maybe we should just run three builds instead of this. Am I doing stupid stuff? Mm. I don't know. It's gonna make it harder to run it up, oh, of course. But... This is mud. Mud stops from here. <laughs> what a way to do this. At least we're doing a bit better on the steel. Well, we will just grab some belt from right here. Anything else I need? Probably. More iron, at least. A bit more of this stuff. Let's hope I have everything again.
No more mixed outputs here. Sand goes there. This will be clay. And then the limestone. Just saw that and got annoyed by it. And we're still gonna bring all of these up to the bus or the production area, right? I'm getting new ideas about how to do this instead. <laughs> Hopefully a bit clean. And a bit more scalable as well. Hopefully I didn't just... Uh, think of something that I can't do. But this can be done instead. I wanted this to go on the further side, this limestone, because we need it to split to the right up here. But we can just underground the other build under it, I guess. So let's do that. And let. This will be reserved, I guess, for the limestone. Where did we park the plane? Down there. I need more brick to fill out all the empty spaces.
Mm. Okay, so it is all coming. Dang it. Really hard to shoot us of all things. I guess we will just bring all of this up, right? Yes, we will. Let's grab the plane. Well, there isn't really as much of a problem for getting it anymore. I'd run almost as fast. But still. And this is how our furthest belt is. wonder if it would be faster to just do three runs instead of this. Can we speed this up a bit? Not really, no. This should be running full speed. I think this is a bit faster than me fidgeting to get all of the builds along with me. Okay. And then I guess we will actually have to bring that out far to the left, near the fluid bus. Or we can just bring the fluid bus in towards us. But now, yeah, we should be able to put a blast furnace down just in our base. Did I not?
wait. No, we did need to run limestone for off to something else, right? Yeah, to some other stuff in blast furnaces and chemical furnaces, okay. This might be something we do at some point. I wonder if, it's, if this is more iron ore uh, efficient. So four iron ore to two processed iron. Two to one. Three to four. I'm not following along anymore even now, so I'm just curious right now. Uh, let's just get out of the plane so it doesn't annoy us all the way through. I want molten iron from. We can turn nickel and chrome into iron, apparently. Okay. Wait, how did I just... Oh, we... No. Iron ore into processed iron. Processed iron into iron pellets. Iron pellets into iron ingots. Oh, and then it gets into the moon, of course, okay. Where are the ingots? They are not in this one, of course. They are in here? No. What? Yeah, they are in here. Should be in here. Ingots are made in these, my bad. Again, if the product we just want to make molten iron out of just iron ingots for now, iron ingots. Well, let's just see this one for now because that was what I saw. This becomes a hundred and six iron ore becomes a hundred and twenty molten iron for this one. Oh come on. Stop that. Just compared to what we're doing now. So this recipe is twice as good. It does require coke, coal, and limestone though. Which is a weird recipe. Then what if we do the next step. Coke and iron hydroxide. Okay. This is again way out of my league. So let's forget about that. What if we do the second processing step? This one. Oh, that's already where we need the 
annoying inputs, I guess. Whoops. Yeah, so that is still a little bit more effective than just smelting lingots. But not effective enough. This, on the other hand, is interesting. We might have to look into that, because that's also a way to at least increase iron production. I'm not sure about the steel, then. But, unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.